Hey guys, I'm Jerry Mitchellark, and I'm pretty excited today. I got a brand new camera. We got it running at 50,000 frames a second. We're out here on a pistol range. We got our test medium set up. It's a piece of mild steel plate, about a half inch thick. We got it suspended on some cord. We've got a Barrett set up in the back. We've got some armor piercing incendiary from Freedom Munitions. We're nice enough to send us this. And we're gonna, what we're going to do with that high speed camera, we're going to watch as this AP round goes through the piece of mild steel, ignites, and it should look really trick. We're going to try to bump off two or three rounds. We've got about a three second exposure. We've got our test medium. We've got the Barrett. So let's hurry back while we have some daylight and make this happen. Okay, we're back at a safe distance. We've got two rounds of Freedom Munition AP incinerary rounds. Got the trusty Barrett. I'm going to go ahead and load two rounds and we're going to cook them off. We're, going to, we're shooting off of a bench. I don't have but one test target and two rounds of ammo. So we've got to make this happen right on the first time. So go ahead and take the chamber flag out. And we're on safe. Go ahead and load the mag. I like to make sure this thing is pointing towards burn before I drop the boat. We got a round in the chamber. Got my earplugs in to the almost touch. Go ahead and put a headset on. And let's see if we can put these AP incinerary right in the center of the target. Here we go, guys. Two rounds on target. Stand by. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, no matter how you shoot this thing, it sure does clean your sinuses out. <laughs> Maybe the earplugs touching did that. I don't know which one, but anyway, we've got two hits on the target. Let's go take a look. Clear with flag. Okay guys, what you can see here is the penetrator itself is a lot smaller than 50 caliber and that's exactly what it's meant to do. The jacket shears off and I guess the brass itself acts kind of like a lubricant to get that steel penetrator to get on its way. And you can see where the jacket spalled it off the hole here. It's pretty apparent what the jacket did. It made a pretty good divot itself but the uh, core, the hardened steel penetrator went straight on through. I got a little jumpy. I was trying to get them on camera as fast as I could. I wasn't set up too good on the bag, so I, my other shot was way to the left. It still got on target. As you can see, it did the exact same thing. But you can see by the intensity of the flash, if there was anything that, of any value that, that could ignite gasoline or anything, you saw the intensity of that flash, it would actually start a fire pretty easy. So. When you're shooting junk like this out in the open, you got to be really careful about the fire hazard it creates because it's, 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 that's what it's made to do, guys. It's, it's an incinerary round, so we're pretty, we're pretty fortunate here. The, gra the ground is a little damp, and uh, we were able to catch it on high speed. It was, uh, I was really impressed by how much shrapnel the secondary frag of the jacket coming off. You can see it's spalling out to the sides. A lot of secondary uh, projectiles there but the brilliance of the flash was just overwhelmingly bright. So a lot of heat generated by that incinerary and that core, guys, could probably go through three quarters of an inch of steel pretty easy at this distance. So what you also, what you want to remember, when you have a, when you have a backstop like this, this target, I knew it was going to easily pierce this. If you had one that it couldn't pierce and that projectile was to bounce back, it can come back at you with just about the energy that it goes toward the target. So I knew this was going to be a complete penetration. I've shot it before at a safe distance. So be careful what you do, guys. That 50 BMG is a lot of horsepower. As you can see, we had good high-speed footage today, guys. We've got a new toy. We're going to be doing a whole lot more of this in the future. We've got a whole bunch of guns. 
whole lot of ammo to burn up. So I'd like for you to subscribe to Mitchellek.com. Like me on Facebook. You'll see a link in the description box below. So keep posted, guys. we got a lot of neat stuff coming your way. Thank you.